Hi, Gary Cruz here, and today I'll be going over the unboxing and setup of the Ledger Nano X to the Moon Edition. Before we jump into the unboxing, let's first talk about why this to the Moon Edition was created. Ledger as a company is now cel celebrating five years at Ledger, then and now. So five years ago, the Ledger came to life. They started as an idea of securing digital assets for crypto enthusiasts, and they quickly evolved into the creation of a cutting edge security technology company serving both everyday crypto hodlers and institutional investors. Take a look here. They have four offices now. They've created six wallets. They have 175 employees, 1,182 cryptos supported, over 1.5 million units sold in 165 countries, and one app developed. They initially started off as a Chrome app, but now they have a dedicated uh, app on the Mac and PC, and also their iOS and Android devices. So with that, to celebrate the Ledger's fifth anniversary, they'd like to introduce this Ledger Nano X that was announced today, October 3rd. And this edition deploys the same technology as the Ledger Nano X, but with this sleek aesthetic to commemorate this milestone. And if we take a look at what's new, just take a look at this blog here and it goes over the details. I'll put these links in the description if you're interested, but let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, let's get into the unboxing. This is the outside of the box and it looks very similar to the plain Ledger Nano X. Let's actually pull that out. Here's the Ledger Nano X box. Uh, this box is similar in size. Take a look at the left. On the back, on the bottom. All right, let's jump right into it. In terms of features, uh, it's the same as the Ledger Nano X. It just has this special engraving on the front and also this packaging. So let's just open this up. Okay, so far it looks similar to the box. This is the original one. Ooh, here we go. Oh, this is kind of weird seeing this in person because it looks like it's in 3D. For this card here, it's it was printed on lenticular paper to give it that 3D effect. Looks pretty cool. Here's the card that is on the top. They've got this astronaut from 2014 to 2019 in the moon. And for those who are new to crypto, going to the moon is basically you're on a rocket ship of writing crypto, hopefully Bitcoin to the moon. And you can see here our mission, going to the moon. Here's the ledger itself. Let's pull this out. It's pretty nice. It looks like it's laser etched in there. Let's compare that with the existing ledger. It's the same size, so you just have different engraving on that. It looks like the same laser etching that was used for the ledger logo that they use for this to the moon with the astronaut. Let's take this off here. On the back and just so folks can see this, I've heard some complaints about the tolerances here. So if I just kind of shake this, you can kind of see if it's loose or not. And compare that with my existing one here. Tolerances seem to be about the same. And there is a USB-C connection on the back. I'm not sure if there's an existing charge on this, but let me plug it in. And as soon as we plug it in, you can see a welcome to the Ledger Nano X. Press right button to continue. And the battery looks like it's pretty low, but let's go ahead and continue the rest of the unboxing. Below that is a hello. Open through this. You've got your recovery sheet, recovery sheet, and a third recovery sheet. And this is where you put your 24 words 
for those who are new to hardware wallets, when you get this, one of the most secure ways to actually create a recovery sheet would be to create your own words. Or since this is shipped directly from Ledger, you can go with the initiation of new words for creating a new wallet. And I'll show that setup and you can trust that. We've got a getting started guide, use and care and regulatory statement and some stickers. You got a white sticker uh, that has the name and logo and just the logo itself in white. And then you have a black sticker with the same setup. Here's the cable that comes with it. It's a USB A to a USB C and it has a bit of a nylon weave on the outside. Now let's go to the setup. We can see here that it says, welcome to the Ledger Nano X. Press right button to continue. Download Ledger Live at ledger.com start, then press right. Uh, I did that in one of my previous videos. Look at the link in the description below. Today, I'm gonna to try using my iPhone to set this up. So if we go over here and look for the Ledger Live app, Ledger Live. And I'll go ahead and get that. Double click to install. We'll open it. Ledger Live would like to use Bluetooth. Ledger Live needs to connect to your Ledger device to manage your crypto assets. You want to click on OK. And welcome to Ledger Live. Easily managed crypto secured by your Ledger device everywhere you go. Get started. Let's go ahead and get started. Choose your device. I'm going to select the Ledger Nano X because that's what we have. So I ran again, keep in mind that this is the same hardware. It's just got a limited edition print on the cover. Let's set this up as a new device because I've never set it up on the Ledger Live app on the, on the iOS. Um, but what I'll do is moving forward, after I set this up for YouTube, I'll import it as an existing device. Because I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you might be someone that is new and you might be curious on how to set this up on iOS. And this is a good opportunity for me to make a tutorial video on that. Choose a pin on my device. Turn on your Ledger Nano X and follow the instructions. Press both buttons to choose setup as new device. Press left or right button to select a digit and press to validate. Okay, so now it says press both buttons. We'll go ahead and do that. And press right. Okay, press left or right button to browse through the menus and lists. Okay, press both buttons to validate a selection. Hold both buttons to ac any time to access control center to power off and more. Now there's a button here that is in the black area and there's a button here on the aluminum part. Start Ledger Live to get assistance during setup and we'll set up as a new device. So let's go over here and press both buttons to choose set up as new device. We'll go ahead and do that right now. Choose a pin code of four to eight digits. Click both buttons. And I'll just make it easy for the demo. And then when you select, you go left or right, you know, to increase or decrease. And then you press both buttons to accept it. We'll go back over to one, one, one. And I'll just use four for now. We'll go back here. One, 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 check mark. Now it's gonna ask me to write down my recovery phrase. What you wanna do is you wanna write down your recovery phrase and write down the words. I'm gonna cover mine up. This is my recovery phrase for my ledger live but you'll be creating one on your own. I'll blur that out so you can't see it. So let's go through, click on continue. And on the app, it says always choose your own pin code, which I did. You wanna use eight 
digits for optimal security I use four for the demo and never use a device supplied with a pin code or a recovery phrase already set up. Save recovery phrase. Write word one in the position one on a blank recovery sheet. Press the right button to continue and write down all 24 words. Okay, it says write down your recovery phrase. We wanna select both buttons here. Warning, these 24 words are your only backup. Secure them carefully. Write word one, which is zone. Two is stock. In older versions, they used to they used to have an option for twelve or twenty four words. It looks like it's defaulting to twenty four words, and you want to keep these secure because let's say even if on some rare chance that ledger doesn't last another five years that you can use this because it uses a BIP39 standard to recover this password on another wallet that supports the same standard. So it could be a Trezor, it could be a software wallet, and that's why it says you need to be, you need to make sure it's secure. So even if you lose your device, I can copy these 24 words onto this one and still have access to my funds. It's very important to understand that your coins are not stored on the device. You know, even though this is called a hardware wallet, the best analogy I can say that this is more of a keychain and you're keeping your keys, your private keys to Bitcoin, to Ethereum, to XRP on this keychain. And this keychain would unlock the blockchain that is basically on the internet to allow you to have access to your funds. Think of it as like, you know, using your Google password to access your email but your email is out on the Google cloud servers and then you're using your email client to read it. Same thing with a blockchain or very similar. You're using your keychain that is on this hardware wallet. We'll just call this a keychain moving forward because I like the terminology better and makes it easier for newbies to understand. And this key will unlock the transactions that happen on the blockchain. Again, nothing is stored here. Nothing is transmitted except signed transactions. Hopefully that made sense. Press left to verify your 24 words. Press both buttons to continue. Uh, let's see, press left to verify. Okay, we already done that. Press both buttons to continue. Confirm your recovery phrase. Okay, so let's do that. Confirm one is zone. So you want to go over here and select oh, there it goes. to, I think it's an alphabetical. No, I saw it. Stock. The other thing that you want to make sure that you don't do is take a picture of it. Uh, you want to store this in a very secure place. If you have a uh, bank security deposit box, that might be a place to store it. And last one is say, it's processing. Your device is ready. So let's continue. Again, it says carefully secure your 24 words and recovery phrase out of sight. Again, this is just all for demo for YouTube, so I'm not worried about it. Make sure you're the sole holder of your recovery phrase. Ledger does not keep any backup of your recovery phrase. Again, you're being your own bank here by securing your crypto on this ledger. Never use a device supplied with a recovery phrase or a pin code. Got it. And it's going to ask me, did I choose my pin code by myself? Yes. Did you say the recovery phrase by yourself? Yes. Continue. All right, let's go ahead and click on continue here. And pair your Ledger Nano X. Let's go ahead and click on add Ledger Nano X. Please make sure your Ledger Nano X is unlocked with Bluetooth enabled. So let's go ahead and do that. 
by having the name means it's enabled and it shows up right here. Bluetooth pairing requests, Nano X640, C640 would like to pair with your iPhone. Confirm that the code 211840 is on there. All right, well, where do I do that? Okay, let's click on pair. All right, I don't see a code. Maybe if I close out of that. All right, let's go back into the Bluetooth. Retry. Maybe if I enable it, don't see it now. Okay, so I've got it disabled. I'm gonna re-enable it. So now the Nano X C640 shows up. Let me turn off my Bluetooth and then turn it back on and then go back to the app Maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll power this off and I'll click on retry. I'll put this pin code in here. One, 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 one. Go back in the control center, go to this. There we go, it shows up. It's going okay. It says 640565, 640565. I'll click on pair and I'll press the both buttons to validate. Now it's checking if it's genuine, so please do not do that. Please don't turn off your Nano X and allow Ledger Manager. Okay. I want to allow it by pressing both buttons. Click on continue. I'll skip the password lock for now. And I'll go and accept the defaults here. Now the device is ready, install some apps on your device and access your portfolio. So click on Open Ledger Live. It's got a little warning here. Read it at your own leisure. Click Got It when after you read it. Then we have to add accounts to your portfolio. Open the manager to install apps on your Ledger device before you start adding accounts to your portfolio. So the way this works is you can see that there's no apps on here. And I'll go over the install of Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and open up the manager. And it's going to access the app catalog. Here are the different apps that you can install. So the apps are things that will be installed on the ledger itself. Think of those as your keys or key managers. And this is your master keychain that holds all the different keys for like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP. Again, nothing is stored in terms of coins on the device. It's a misnomer because you would think that you would put wallets or you would put money in a wallet since this is a hardware wallet. Hopefully, maybe in the future, they might change the name to a keychain. Uh, and I got that from Andreas Antonopoulos, one of his books. And if you haven't read his books uh, about Bitcoin, I highly recommend it. So let's install the Bitcoin one. Please wait while the Bitcoin app is installed. It's processing. This USB cable, USB-C cable is just being, is just plugged into a power source. It's not plugged into my iPhone. I think I'll be comfortable after this app installs, I'll unplug it because it has a built-in battery. The process is also very, very similar on the Ledger app. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely check out the description because I have um, a tutorial on that on the Ledger Nano X. Okay, you can see that Bitcoin has been successfully installed on my Ledger Nano X. If I go to accounts, you can see that I've got Bitcoin there. And if I go to open my manager, go over here, 
and go to my device. Let's see. Okay, now that I have the app installed here, I'm going to add an account onto my Ledger Live. I'll add accounts. And let me just go ahead and add Bitcoin. And now what it's going to do is going to sync up with the app that is on the device. And let's go ahead and open this by clicking both buttons. It says application is ready. Let me unplug this here. And it's asking me for a pin code. So right now I un unplugged it. Let me retry here. All right, let's, I gotta like, power off. Let's do this. So battery is at 76%. Let me power off and then power back on. I'll enter my code and I'll go into the Bitcoin app. I'll click on retry. And now it's synchronizing. Let's go with SegWit. Select that and continue. Go to accounts. And now my app on Ledger Live has the Bitcoin account. If I go in here, make sure the app is installed and start receiving. So if I wanted to receive Bitcoin, I'll have to pair with my Nano. I'll validate the address on here. So click on a continue and then I'll take a look at this address. It starts with 3NR, starts with 3NR, ends with NDX, MDX. And that's what I'd have to do is go to another device to send. And then I can either scan this or copy and paste that. So I can copy that and paste it. Um, that's going to be outside of the scope of this because I don't have any Bitcoin to send to my demo account yet. And what I'll probably do is erase this. And to erase this is I'll uh, just put in the wrong pin code and I'll reset it. And then I'll delete the app from here and then install it again and repair it. But I'll do the recovery words that I showed you earlier or I didn't show you earlier that I had. And that should basically clone my hardware wallet that I initially set up and then all my accounts or my keys will then be cloned onto this by using that same seed. So that concludes the tutorial and setup of the To The Moon edition of the Ledger Nano X. If this was helpful for you, please hit that like button. And if you're interested in these crypto type tutorials, definitely subscribe. I have more to come. Thanks for watching.